Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? This is session 50 of my morning in body greases, which I've been teaching live since March the 23rd. And I'm really feeling very, very joyful to be able to say, yep, this is session number 50. And thank you so much for being part of this journey. When we started March 23rd, we didn't know, none of us knew what, what was going to unfold. And I just want to say thank you so very, very much for rocking up um, sort of in the mornings to join in my instant body boosters, simple, quick posture mobility exercises just really designed to help us start our day a bit brighter. And um, there are lots of things I want to be grateful for, but what I have found very, very joyful is being able to do this for you, my community, and also just to see the connectivity between you guys because you rock up every morning and you say good morning to everybody. And that has just been so really, really special to help all of us through um, these difficult times. So from me to you, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so very much. Um, so in the room this morning, as we are live on YouTube and also on my Facebook page, how are we doing? So good morning, Laura and the Stobber clan. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Rose. Good morning, Melanie. Well, oh, I feel quite emotional. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Joanna. How are you doing? Hello, Sophie. Really, really love to see you. Um, it's just been really great and uh, on our journey of 50 live sessions of course there's lots of things to remember i've had adventures with our doggy coming in and out of uh camera barney and also we had our charity week with depaul uk where your generous donations allowed an office in sheffield to be converted into a bedsit to allow two people every night who are homeless to come off the streets and to be in a safe environment, obviously through the COVID-19 pandemic. And that was all through our efforts as a community. So thank you very, very much. So we have lots, lots to be joyful about and to celebrate. And uh, so we thought we needed to have a little bit of gold and sparkle on our Friday morning on session number 50. And I also think it's someone's birthday this today, Lisa Landstaff, are you here in the room today? It's happy birthday to you. Daisy Moo, good morning, good morning, Rosie. Good morning, Stephanie, good morning, Lucha. Good morning, Caroline. So anyway, Lisa Lanstaff, I know sometimes you do catch up. Happy, happy birthday to you. And if it's anybody else's birthday today, happy, happy birthday to you. Um, of course, we're all 21. I've had a birthday this week as well in my fifth decade again, but all is good. We are rocking and rolling. So gorgeous people, shall we get on and do it? This is session three of our focus on shoulders and neck. And of course, we're moving into this whole theme session. So let me know what you want me to concentrate on because next week, it's a whole new week and we've got loads to explore. So if there's any particular area that in your body that you feel that needs an extra bit of TLC for instant body booster, let me know and we can actually have a focus on week of that. So this is from me to you, my community. Thank you, let's do it, session 50. So let's get these things out of the way. Okay, right. All right, lovely people. So let's start with our feet about hip distance apart. Um, remember we were talking about hip distance being thumb to little finger and that's a really good distance. So just bend your knees, just allow that, just to check that distance here between thumb to thumb. Check it all the way up through the body and that's a good reference all the way. Stretch up nice and tall. Just take a big deep breath and just have a moment of stillness here at the top where you reassess where you are with your feet. Just maybe give them a little wriggle. Feel really grounded to the floor and think about the space of your hips, the distance between the pubic bone and your sternum. So you have length here in your body and also obviously the distance between your earlobes and your shoulders. So stretch up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in here, people. And then just spin the arms nice and wide. That's good. That's great. Okay, then from here, just turn your thumbs here. So we're just going to scrunch up, rotate them around and just come down and just be nice and loose in the arms to begin with. Okay, and let's do that again. So from here, thumbs come up to our ears, scrunch them round. So we really open up the head of the humerus in that shoulder area. Nice and loose, nothing too strenuous as we start our days together. Also, this is brilliant as we come back maybe at the end of the day to revisit. Okay, so this is the last one here of those walk active shoulder shrugs. Let's take a deep breath in now here. Deep in breath tall. Stretch up nice and tall. Feel what it's like to be alive today, people, as we've done this all together. Stretch those fingers up tall. Check the distance between earlobes and shoulders and just spin the arms really wide and a nice strong stop sign. So take that hand behind your body. Remember, we've been talking about how that allows the shoulder to be in the correct position, opening up, improving our posture. Strong stop sign there. Take a deep breath in, breathe in. And then just turn to look at that hand. So just nice, deep breath, okay? And then breathe out as you just gently ease 
the other way. Okay, so this is a really lovely neck releaser. Take a deep breath in here, breathe in, and then breathe out as we just turn the glance this way. And now we're just gonna do one where we take a deep breath in, and as we breathe out, we're just gonna drop the chin down to draw like a semicircle, nice and gently, nothing too strenuous. Just be curious, be exploratory, take a deep breath in, and let's just take it back the other way. Again, just thinking about the setup we have between the earlobes and shoulders, and that hand can come down. Just roll those wrists. That's good. Take a deep breath in again. Take a deep breath in. And then a nice strong stop sign on the other side to take the other hand into the small of the back so you really feel that you've got that opening up here of the shoulder. Strong stop sign. That's really important to help the alignment through the shoulder girdle. And then take that deep breath in. Look towards that hand. And then as you breathe out, you're just going to gently turn the head the other way nice and smoothly. Good deep breath in and then ease out nice and smoothly. Good job. And then take that deep breath in and just do that semi-circle down. And you may well feel that you've got a little bit more um, movement on one side than the other. That's okay. This is all positive connection with the body, building that awareness. Good job. And then take that down and just roll the shoulders around for me a couple of times. Good. And then come back to that walk to the shoulder shrug. So from here, thumbs by your thighs, scrunch them up, rotate them down, nice heavy relax down and you can be a bit more dynamic with the arms if you want and a little bit bounce with the knees. Okay here we go so we're going to come up, scrunch them around and come down and nice and loose. Let's do one more and this time let the arm come a little bit more across the body. So here's my thumb, here's my earlobe scrunch, scrunch it around, little finger by my thighs, let it drop down and let the arms now come across the body a little bit. So the torso should really be able to have rotation here but the hips and the knee and the feet are still facing forward. So just check that. The rotation is just coming from here. All right, give me a couple more. That's lovely and rest down. So come over to your chair as we've done all week. So we're just gonna ease off. Take your towel nice and long, just wrap it around the back of your neck. And then from here, sit with good integrity. So you've got your feet underneath your knees and a bit of tautness in that towel, that's really crucial. We're just gonna lift the chin up nice and gently. So just ease forward, so opening up the heart chakra here, so we're open with this part of our body. Take a deep breath in, and as we ease out, let the chin come down nice and gently, and just let it drop forward a little bit, and then as it's dropped forward, just turn to look underneath that armpit. So get a little bit of a stretch, maybe, if you're looking down towards your right armpit, and maybe towards your right thigh, if you pull a little bit more through on the left arm, you may well feel just a gentle easing of the neck muscles at the back on the left hand side. Take a deep breath in, bring the head back to a center position and then lift up. Let's repeat that on the other side. So just lift the chin up, open the heart chakra nice and gently. Nothing too strenuous, you're just being exploratory, just easing and saying, hello body, how are we doing today? And then ease down. So the chin comes a little bit down and then just turn to look towards underneath your left armpit. So you've got integrity through the right arm. And as you do that, you're just gonna be nice and smooth, okay? And then take a deep breath in, and then bring back, okay? Come back to a center position, earlobe to shoulder, just down there. And then come back nice and smooth, and that side, that's great. Put the towel down. Okay, and then from here, have this arm here. We just take a deep breath in, breathe in nice and tall, stretch up, check the distance between earlobes and shoulders, ribs and hips. This hand's gonna to come to your side, this one, you're gonna spin it back. So we've been talking about lifting out of the hips and just leading with the torso. Now think about this, that the torso leads and the head will follow. So you actually protect all the small bones in the neck area. And also think about the width of your body. So elbow to elbow. So you're broad, you're wide, you have awareness of your, your kind of whole physicality in space. Take a deep breath in and then come back to the center. Take a deep breath in, stretch up nice and tall and then reach up. So spin this one back. This hand comes onto your thigh, lift up and then just lead with the torso. Remember the head will follow. Ease in, take a deep breath. Good job, and then come back to the center. Now from here, lift up, just take the arms and just sweep back nice and gently. Good, do one more on this side, and then we're actually gonna do a full circle. So on this one, take it back and then ring it, bring it all the way over so it's a big circle. Let's do that one more time. So sweep it back, follow it with your eye line, and then a big one all the way around, okay? How'd that feel? Let's start again, reassess where you are with your earlobes and shoulders, and sweep back once, just nice gentle look back, 
and then come center and again sweep back and then this time we're going to follow it all the way around so you're really getting a nice range of motion in the whole of the shoulders that feel okay do that one more time ease back nice and gently and if your body's feeling a bit like oh end of the week not too sure just ease it back make the movement smaller this is for you okay now wriggle the hands of happiness people we're going to stand up here we go lift up i'm going to move the chair away so from here let's come to the end of your mat and what we're going to do we're going to do a nice roll down prep so sit up or stand up even from here feet hip distance apart take a deep breath in stretch up nice and tall reach 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 and a little bit of a bend of the knees here so you've still got all that integrity all that lift up through the body and now we're going to introduce that tuck under the tailbone so that's your priority draw the abdominals in so think about a line of string here from the pubic bone drawing it up but the priority is the length of the spine rather than pulling in the abdominals so that sequencing is actually quite important now now from here let the hands drift past your shoulders let that chin come down so you've got three focuses to here people the length of the tailbone tucking under here just a slight lengthening in the upper shoulders but you've also got length between the ribs and the hips so keep that length here take a deep breath in and then stretch up tall so you come back to all this full length that your body is meant to be in this world today okay take a deep breath in and then come back again, set that up. So here's my bend of my knees. Here's my lower um, tuck under of the tailbone. So my priority length in the lower spine, mobilizing the area. Here comes the face past, hands past your gorgeous faces. Drop the chin down, but I've still got my length here. Take a deep breath in. And now I'm going to just let that kind of articulate all the way down nice and gently. So sometimes it's not what we do, people. It's how we do it. So do it, do it loud, do it proud, do it with a smile on your face. And then here at the bottom here, just shift your weight a little bit. Again, be curious, just easing up the hips because there is an opening between the shoulders and the hips. And from here, just nod yes and nod no, nod yes, nod no. And we'll do some puppet string arms. Really nice. Just heavy, imagine a piece of string there and just lock, flop down. Okay, nice and high as you can. And then just let it flop down. One more each side. Good. Just feels really nice. And you might find you get a little bit of rotation of the body and down good job and then from here just shift again and you're going to bring both hands to one foot so this is our kind of foot hand sandwich so if i've got my hand on both hands on my right foot so i've got right foot left hand right hand and we're going to trace that right hand up my left arm and then crumb right hand good job i've had some coffee this morning right hand to right shoulder and just spin that elbow nice and tall now if you want to bend the knee and allow that torso to lead a little bit more remember the torso leads and the elbow is high and the head follows take a deep breath in and then just let that deliciously unfold and respectfully come down just shake it out again just come back to this point of symmetry before we then go to the left foot so i've got both hands on the left foot and i've got my left hand on top i trace the left hand up my right arm bring it to my left shoulder and again might find one leg is straighter than the other and just lead with the torso so you've got really fabulous upper back mobility exercise here just opening it up take a big deep breath and lead with the torso lead with the elbow and let the head follow take a deep breath in and breathe out come back to that center position good job we're just going to come up heavy in the tailbone just roll all the way up reassess where we are feel that length feel proud of your body feel proud of your efforts number 50 people we are here and again bend that knees tuck that tailbone under and let the hands drift past your face roll down nice and gently and we've got six walks which are going to take us out to that nice box position are we ready come join me one and two three and four five and six so spread the fingertips tuck the tailbone under and then from here just come to a point of stillness so the hands are spread and what i want you to do this time is let's start by actually taking the foot out so stretch that leg out just <laughs> got balloons everywhere stretch that foot out so remember you're imprinting that heel pad open up the hip and you're going to reach the other arm out now just momentarily hold it here so you get this long stretch through the body and then you're going to reach and trace that hand around like a rainbow reach 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 and let it rest on your cute little butts and then reach forward again so get get that stretch very important that you pre-lengthen here and then spin the arm around let it rest on your bum because it's your 50th give yourself a little squish on your butts and then do it again reach forward let's do one more you've got to laugh people stretch it up 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 give yourself a squish 
good job and then bring that hand down and then bring that in okay so we're moving it around a little bit here so this time take the other hand rest it on the thigh sorry rest it on the back of the head you're just going to open up the body so i'm just opening up here and then i'm bringing elbow to elbow so just bring that around tuck it under think about being long with the elbow as you do this so it's almost like i'm tracing an arc and that will allow you to get more articulation, more mobility in the back. You'll also may feel a little bit of the core work coming in here. Good. Breathe in. Let's do one more. Opening it up. And then we're going to come back. OK, so remember which side you've done. Those hands come down. Bit of neuroplasticity work here this morning, people. OK, stretch the other leg away. So stretch, stretch, stretch. Goodness me, who put all these balloons here? Wow, press that back. All right, stretch the other arm here. Reach, reach, reach. Get that length, very important to get that length. So you're opening up the hip flexor as well and then reach, trace it open. Follow it with your eye line if you can. Grab your cute butt here and then stretch forward. Reach, reach, reach. Lengthen, open up again. Nice big arch. And keeping the breath nice and small and a little bit of squish on that bum. Go on, give yourself a squish. And again, last one, reach, reach, reach. Over you go. Good, a little bit of a pat, whatever. And then the last one here, and then bring it down. So you bring that knee in. So probably the same knee that was extended, this is how it works for me. I'm then going with that hand. So that hand comes to the back of my head. So keep myself nice and square. And then I'm just gonna open up. And again, lead with the torso, lovely upper middle back mobility here, nice and gently. And then elbow to elbow, nice and smooth. Think about tracing an arc with that elbow. So you're pre-lengthening and getting length and strength and space in your joints. Deep breath in. This is really fabulous. Everything that I do really complements, obviously, that walk out system to help you feel good about your body and feel have positive connection. This is your last one here, people. Good job. And that one's going to come down. And then from here, what I'd like you to do is just wriggle your feet a little bit and let the toes come together a little bit and let the knees come a bit further apart. And just stretch the hands down the mat. Now, depending on how you're feeling, you may want to put your blanket underneath your towel here. Stretch the fingers. Let the, um, the head rest down and reach the hands down the mat as long as you can. And from here, just imagine you're playing a piano. If you want to make this a little bit easier for yourself, if you feel this a bit too strenuous on your neck, you can make your hands into fists or actually have a roll up towel. But ideally, what I'd like to be here if you can. Now, one hand is going to draw back towards your head face. Now, currently, the hand is level with my head. My head is looking down. My eye line is down to the mat. As my, head, my hand comes level with my head, I turn my head to look at my hand and then I let the hand extend down towards my feet. So I'm going to stretch through one hand forward and stretch through one hand towards my toes. So I've got a nice long stretch. The bottom is long as well. And then I'm going to trace it back along here. Hope you can see me over this, okay? Trace it back. So when it's level with my head, I then turn my head so the forehead rests on the mat and I stretch forward, okay? Piano again with the fingers. Let's do the other side. So I trace the hand down, still looking down. When the hand is level with my head, I just gently turn my head to look at my hand and then keep the head where it is, just extend the hand back towards the floor. Give me a little bit of extra reach in the body. So from the front and from the back, long, long, long. And then I trace that hand gently when it's level with my head. I turn the head, I can see my hand, and I'm now looking at the mat. Stretch the hands forward. Let's just do that one more time. So take a deep breath in here at the top. As you breathe out, the hand traces along the mat and it's level with your head. I then turn the head to have a moment look at my hand, and then I follow and extend the hand back towards my feet. And give me a little bit of a momentary stretch through both hands in opposite direction. Big deep breath in. And as I breathe back, I bring this hand back here. And then I, as I see the hand, I draw the head back to a central position and I stretch forward. A little bit of a piano PLA. Last one here, lovely people. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Ease that hand back. Level with my head. Gentle turn and then stretch and extend. So really feel that lovely length from one length of your fingertips to the other. Deep breath in. And as I breathe out, the hand comes back. As I see the hand, I turn to the mat, back down and stretch. Good, really feel that you press your hips away. And now paint your hand back along the mat. Press into your hands nice and gently. Bring the legs together and just take one hand out to the side. All right, how are we doing? And then from there, what I want you to do is just reach a little bit further. So you may feel a little bit of opening here of the chest, a bit of an opening also maybe at the back. So you just feel that you're opening up all this upper shoulder area, which is so nice. Take a deep breath in and then you're going to draw the hand, paint it along the mat. 
turn the palm up and then just point it through like threading the needle through this gap here. Now keep the, the elbow locked to begin with. Take a deep breath in so you're really energizing the fingers away. Now introduce the faintest of softness to the elbow and that's where you get the goodness of opening up the shoulder girdle. So you open up the tiny little muscles behind that shoulder girdle. Take a deep breath in and then just come back and we're going to repeat on the other side, okay? So take it wide on that side, just ease a bit further forward, be exploratory, see how that feels, and then from here, trace it along. When you bring it underneath your eye line, turn the palm up, and then you're going to reach across this way, and keep, for the moment, get the arm as long as possible, so you really feel the intention stretching away. The elbow may be locked at this moment, I now want the faintest of softness, because that allows the shoulder girdle to open. Take a deep breath in, and of course, you can stay and repeat these a little bit more to allow you to open up the back of the shoulder. It really, the more you hold the position, the more you feel that the shoulder girdle just shifts a bit and you get those tight, tight muscles that are so difficult to open up can open for you. Okay, deep breath in and then bring it back to a central position. Okay, have a little wriggle, see how that feels. Tuck your toes underneath you. We're moving on up, people. Shift up, lift the weight up. Walk your feet towards your hands for me. One and two and three and four and five and six. And we're just gonna be back in this forward hanging bend. So see how that feels. Take a good look at life upside down. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, good job. And what I'd really love to know while we're in this upside down position, have a think about it, leave me a comment below. Let me know how many of you have done of these 50 live sessions that I've shared with you. I would love to know. I know some of you, a good few of you have done every single one with you. So just nod yes, nod no, people nod yes, nod no. We'll do a couple of puppet string arms, lift up one, heavy down. So leave that comment below. I would love to know how you got on, okay? And if this is your first one, you are so very, very welcome. Please come back and shift your weight from one side to the other. So you just open up. Good job. And then from here, lovely people, be heavy in that tailbone, okay? Really think about being deliciously long as you uncurl. Draw those abdominals in, heavy in that tailbone. And you're going to come up gently, 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 nice and steadily. If you feel you need a bit more time here as you come up today and unfold into the height, into the magnificence that you are today, please do. And as you come up, just really take a moment, take a deep breath in, come to a point of stillness, check where you are with the distance between the earlobes and shoulders. Hello, hello. Okay, and then from here, we're just gonna bring the arms wide and we're gonna finish with a couple of our walk active arm shrugs. So we're gonna scrunch up, come round, drop down, nice and loose. How are we doing? Are we all right? Good, last one here, so roll in, roll back, come back, nice and loose. And most importantly, we're going to share our love together. So are we ready, lovely people? Thank you so much for joining me. This is session number 50, Instant Body Booster. From me to you, take those arms big and wide. Get ready to hug in the love. Feel it, feel it, feel it, people. Squish it in. We're in this together. And every single one of you has been part of this journey and part of us coming together, helping each other. And that's really, really special. So thank you so much from me to you. So hug it in. Let the chin come down. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out, let the arms come out. We're just gonna change the other side, okay? And then come back, scoop it in. This is the last one. Squish it in, feel the love, people. Feel the love, squish, 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 squish. Deep breath in. Get ready, because it's coming to you. After the count of three, one, two, three. Whoosh. It's down, da -da. I wanna do a bit of this, woo! <laughs> Lovely people, thank you so very much. That was session 50, what we're doing. Um, I'm Joanna Hall. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you rocking up today. And I will be back live Monday, 8 a.m. for a whole new Focus On. What do you want to cover? Let me know. And I also want to know, what was your number today? This was session number 50. I know for a lot of you, thanks for your energy. Thanks, as always. Take care. Have a great day. Look after yourself. Stay safe. And bye-bye.